Hello, this is a response video to Square Peg Divergent, the channel. Um, I, I listened to some of her videos, so I, I overheard this, this um, talk about Chicago. And um, so there is this pat pattern that I have been following. I don't talk about it. Actually, I haven't talked about it because I don't do that, you know? I don't talk about everything everything that I perceive. I don't talk about everything. But there is this clear pattern that is uh, that has been appearing to me. This, this pattern about um, a, um, a ghost. You see? Some, some ghost. And um, and so then, and, and I was led to Chicago again when it comes to this ghost. But um, so first of all, I saw the ghost in in the uh, in the art of Umami, the the latest one. Uh, there is a ghost in that, um, and then there is, I mean, there has been many ghosts that this ghost symbolism has appeared uh, appeared to me, and I mean, it's trying it's trying to communicate something that I don't understand. Okay, this is the thing with uh, clairvoyance; you don't really understand it uh, until after a while when you can lay the the puzzle uh, app appropriately you know it takes some time to understand it and so and so i'm quiet about it you know because i don't want to i don't want to um, talk about things that are not clear you know but there is this ghost presence and um just a ghost you know with with a um, uh, yeah, and, and it it really wants to show itself to me, this ghost, um, the, the ghost symbolism, you know, maybe there's some ghost here, and it's like, oh, I want to, I want to show myself, I want to talk, you know, but I, I, I don't know, I don't think it's about that, but um, it could be the holy ghost, you know, the holy ghost, it could be ghost as in death, you know, something dies and there is a ghost it could be many things so i don't know yet you know but um uh, so i also saw saw this ghost in i um, in uh, loki you know um i haven't seen uh, the loki series but in in season two um there is this ghost in Chicago, and so I'm, I'm beginning to like. There's beginning to form something like a, a vague picture in my mind now, you know, and and so I'm realizing that Square Peg is onto something when it comes to Chicago, you know, she's um she's onto something. And um, and so I was led to this article because I just had this feeling that there's something about nuclear energy and Chicago. I just I, I just knew it, you know. Uh, I I I knew that I would. Uh, I, I searched for. I searched for nuclear. Chicago something like that and then i found this okay so um and this also could explain so let, let me read quickly for you okay the first human made self sustaining nuclear chain reaction was created in chicago on december 2nd 1942 so it first happened in Chicago. And so 
I believe that this is this is what um, what uh, square peg is reacting to and uh, I believe I believe that Chicago itself is is um, All, all of this has to do with this basically to find this okay and um, there could be this this news news cl climate you know there could be so if we check further down you realize that this has to do with a nuclear apoc apocalypse okay and so what I'm thinking is that uh, I mean there is a skull and they mentioned this also wait so so Moore is the artist that made this sculpture and um, it's about the nuclear holocaust, but whatever. Um, I believe that there could be this news news climate about uh, a, a, a nuclear like fear mongering, you know, uh, fear mongering about um, nuclear strikes all over the world. Reason being. Uh, uh, you know uh, the place where Jer Jerusalem Jerusalem is at a place where it is a lot of a lot of things going on and this country has the most nuclear missiles of all countries in all of all of um, all of the world they have the most they have more than us they have mo more than russia they have more than all of all everyone okay and so i believe considering the circumstances and adding some logic into this that the ghost and square pigs talk about chicago all of this has to do with something with nuclear fear mongering okay uh, and don't fall into that fear, you know. I mean, don't do it, okay? Um, so, I believe that we're going to have a, a new, a new uh, fear mongering coming with uh, uh, nuclear war, uh, nuclear world war, okay? And. Um, um, that's what I believe. I'm beginning to believe that um, because it's logical and it fits a bit to my to my stuff. And we have we had this movie about the the nuke, you know, the nuke movie. Um, what was that called? Oppenheimer, you know, Oppenheimer, and then you had Barbie which um, has I mean Barbie has connections to to Oppenheimer and so this and and, and, and in the same way Loki the, the new Loki series with a with a key lime pie yeah there is a key lime pie in the Loki series uh, they, 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 they eat a lot of key lime pie uh, and so I'm thinking that all of this has to do with uh, a kind of fear mongering uh, stuff that will come and yeah, yeah I, I, I think that uh, square pegs talk about Chicago is basically about this that Chicago was first to do this and I think nothing more about Chicago. I don't think so okay that's I, I I think her 
her focus on Chicago is simply this event of that they were the first to do this. They were, were the first to do self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction in Chicago. And that's why SquarePeg is looking at that. And then, yeah, I mean, think for yourself. It, it's logical, it makes sense, and it fits to, to, the, to the movies. It fits to, to um, symbology. Uh, and I mean, some of the symbology that I'm seeing. And I will try to understand this, this ghost thing a bit more. The ghost, you know. There is something about the ghost. Have you seen ghost stuff? Ghost? Whatever. Uh, so, yeah, response video to square peg. Um, I think you're on to something. I think you, you have... Uh, yeah, You're, you are detecting something in Chicago, and I think it's this. I think it's, I think it's a self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction. That's what you're detecting. Um, see you another time. Bye bye.